Well, Derek, before you came on the country scene at all, there you had the experience of with the D side, and can you tell us a bit about yeah. that, please? Yeah, well, when I was um, seventeen, I, I auditioned for um, a, a boy band in Dublin. saw saw the the auditions in Temple Bar or whatever. saw them on the on the Sunday World. Went up with my my sister actually came with me on the bus and uh, went up and auditioned and uh, was called back again and again a few callbacks and eventually got into the the band. Um, but I had to do my my leaving cert first, so got that done and then deferred place in in DCU. And headed over to London. Uh, finished my last physics exam, and the next day headed to London with the boys. And yeah, we 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 had a good run of it. You know, it took a while to kind of we got signed to to Warner. Um, and for that period, it was real rock and roll. You know, we had a tour manager every day, and uh, you know, stylist, makeup, you name it, every day. You know, yes. promoting singles, um, doing TV shows, all the big kind of TV shows at the time, Top of the Pops. Uh, we'd front page and smash hits, um, which some of your listeners might be old enough to remember smash hits, yes. which is <laughs> great. And, um, and I still have the smash hits award here in my in my living room. So, yes. um, so yeah, no, we look, we, we had a great time of it. You know, the problem was, um, I suppose we we got number uh, number seven and number nine in our first two singles, which were top tens, but unfortunately, probably just weren't. You know they weren't you high enough. Higher. You know you, yes. you, you want you want to want to be in the top three and then kind of build maybe to number one or something like that. So um, we eventually kind of ran us you know it ran its course in the end. But we got we continued as three piece and we we number one in Japan with Invisible. So we kind of went out there a few times, maybe five times and all. Yes. And toured a bit and uh, we had three albums released out there and the greatest hits. So yeah, uh, we got you know great great experience. I mean we recorded in in, in the US quite a lot with, with Desmond Child. Who just taught me so much about recording vocals? Um, you know, I, I just could not buy that experience. You know that he, I spent about. I went out first of all. Uh, we went out. We did one song with him, and then we did six or seven songs then for the album with him later. And for two weeks, then I was kind of, I suppose, the main singer, and I just spent practically two weeks in his in his house, just doing vocals and the studio in his house, and it was just in Miami. It was just an amazing he experience. Taught you a lot. He taught you a lot. Taught me an awful lot, yeah. But even with writing songs, even you know, he'd explain to me why certain words were where they were and um, pronunciation. And you know, it's something that I never forgot. Like if you, you know, obviously I write my own songs now, so it's a bit different. But if you're getting back then, if you were given a song someone else wrote, he would he would sit you down and he would um, he would say to me like, right, right, what words do you think should be? Um, what words are important in this song, in this sentence? And you go through everything and which ones should you be like, you know, um, pronouncing longer or heavier or louder or lighter, yes. whatever it may be. And he went through the whole song and it was just so interesting. And it's, it's something I've never forgotten. I do, I do it to this day if I'm given a song to, to record or, you know, um, and just, you no know, things like that that you just, you know, yeah. you just learn as you go yeah. along, you know. That's things that people like that don't, that aren't familiar with songwriting, like myself and a lot of country music fans and music fans in general wouldn't even yeah. necessarily think about in a sense of, but there's so many different dimensions to a song. There is like, and it's just when you hear, I suppose that the Nashville writers, you know, in general, it's just so clever. Like there's, there's, Every word is there for a reason, you know. Yeah. And you better believe it. You better believe it. Yeah, it's, a fair <laughs> it's not. It's not just a kid. Now, sometimes I, I like, you know, I like the kind of style too. Um, sometimes I would write a song and there's there's no rules or shape to make to it. It's just it just naturally kind of flows, and I like that too. If you know what I mean. But then there's times where um, you do you use the rules or there's things that that work like internal rhymes and um, stuff. You know, I think. If you if you dissect some of the songs that are coming out of Nashville at the minute, they're just genius, like you know, yes. absolute genius. And it's it's what a what a talent to have though, to Derek. That you know, that there has been a lot of great songwriters come across Ireland and, of course, beyond Ireland. But it's a great talent to possess because not everyone can just pick up a song. It's it's one thing to write a song, but it's another thing to have a hit. Well, I suppose yeah, you're you're always learning, you know. And I think yeah. you know, the, the more people you write with, the better. So I go to Nashville quite a bit and I write with different guys out there just to kind of. Not necessarily take on what they're doing, like because they're they do what they do and they're fantastic at it, you know. I, I but I think I like to bring back elements of that then to the songs I write for for the Irish audience, you know. So yeah. you're always learning, and I think the the more you write with people, the more you the better you get at it, you know. Definitely um, experience. And uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah.